Hey everybody. So I was able to get this uh, pretty much set up to kind of do the, you hear how it gets a little bit louder. I made a little circuit here with these little transistors and it kind of goes into the audio. Uh, normally this circuit would hook to like a light and uh, test like different fields for uh, electrical currents and stuff like that or magnetic fields kind of um, so there's just three of these uh, little transistors here I think actually I put four in kind of it's kind of like a basic diagram here it's not the greatest I may take a picture of it to show people but and then I'll took this up into like put this all in a little containment or some sort uh, <clears throat> and then it hooks right into the frequency or the the thing here because it kind of works with the frequency generator too because you can control the the volume with it and then you can control the frequencies kind of it's weird because we're it's using uh, square wave current and so you can hear it how it's sh shuddering and as it gets to 60 hertz, it just kind of turns off. You can get some higher frequencies that way. But um, it's kind of strange if you amplify it, the 60, the 60 will work, but then you risk making a little bit of a mess there. And it becomes super sensitive. So you don't want to mess with that unless you're hooking it up to like the bubble one. And then um, you can see again, 70 hertz is like, it's really like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It keeps on it like. But I'm going to try to hook it up so it will do a, a, a sine wave instead of a square wave. That's probably just a simple thing to uh, convert the square wave into a sine wave. Kind of spilled all my water out of here now. Just gonna show this. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't want to happen. Is it falling over right now? So I have the volume kind of like about three quarters and then this volume kind of there. It's kind of phase shifting right now. It's probably because I'm pulling the electricity off of the frequency generator itself. So if I turn my light up here, put my hand over it, find a better frequency back where I was. about 30 hertz on the frequency generator. As you get closer, you can kind of, you're controlling the volume kind of. I kind of spilled too much water out of there. Need a little bit more water. cool to do it with the bubbles because bubbles can handle a little bit more crazier stuff. You know, clean that up. That's no good. Definitely want to get it to uh, stop phase shifting. Or I can just control it like this with my hand. Very sensitive. 
on today. Some of the other, other frequencies don't have your frequency generator next to it, that's for sure. But you'll get your hand near the frequency generator and it will um, overhead light kind of messing me up. My hand. You can kind of hear it and go around it. So when I get the, uh, when I can perfect it to be a little bit more of a sine wave, it'll be a lot smoother. I did cross some of the circuits over here and making it really crazy sounding, but it, then it was, it was too uh, sensitive. And you want to have some range. Definitely want to get it to stop phase shifting. Even though it does some cool stuff. See, when my hand gets very close to it, so the, the vibrations get very deep. Higher frequencies, like 60 hertz, it's the same as the current. careful see so just even going near it over here underneath even near the cord anything is sensitive really but the antenna it really I noticed I tried a smaller spiral it didn't work as good as this bigger one so I'll probably put this on a flat plate Do some cool stuff with that. Get some more water again because I keep spilling it. are like amplifiers and if we're too amplified we make chaos or if we control our emotions and control our ways of thinking we can balance them out the same way So as 
soon as I get this figured out a little bit nicer set up, I'll put these up on my website. It's kind of like a more lower frequency. out like the little wave patterns on the ends over there. Need a smaller pan. Something more like different than when you, if you hold your hand open. Especially if you go up near the bottom or under it. Very sensitive. that close to it. 
Got to be careful going over by the frequency generator over here. Trying to turn some more phasing in the lower frequencies. More sensitive over here. And I have to clean that up. Cool if I use both of my hands, which I can't do right now, but making a dome over it, it's cool. And under, underneath, you can make like a, a wider dome. Pretty cool. I gotta just refine it a little more and just look up a couple things on, probably take the frequency power from the off the frequency generator because I think that's what's causing it to phase and then uh, give it its own power source on the USB alright I will uh, be getting these ready pretty soon too